Welcome to Golden Ridge Reserve, a little slice of heaven jam-packed with natural wonder and some fantastic fishing. First time out, you'll find yourself in Diamond Peak Outpost, right in the heart of the reserve. Here you can find all sorts of things of interest. You'll definitely want to pay a visit to Sophia at Taylor's Tackle Shop and say hi to Clayton, the reserve's warden. They have lots of useful tips to help get you started. Sooner or later, you're going to want to upgrade your gear, buy some new duds, and maybe even That's pimp your great. ride. Sophia will be happy to help. She stocks a fantastic range of fishing gear from rods to reels and from bait to line. Whatever your personal idea of outdoor style is, Taylor's Tackle stocks it all. Mix and match shoes, gloves, hats, glasses, tops, and trousers to find your unique look. Now that we've got you looking your best, you're going to want to get out there and explore this majestic reserve. If you want to discover the park by foot, be our guest. Roam wherever you want. To reach those faraway places in style and comfort, you can pick up a 4x4 at any of the outposts and trailheads. To head out to deeper water, or to get around the interconnected waterways, you can grab a boat from many of the jetties. You'll find our vehicles easy enough to handle, and you can even take three friends with you, which may come in handy, since at any one time, you'll likely be sharing the reserve with up to 11 others. If your fishing buddies aren't online, we can automatically match you with other avid anglers. If solitude is your idea of bliss, then our single-player offline mode is for you. The fishing experience in Golden Ridge Reserve is as authentic as it is immersive. The fish spawn according to a sophisticated ecosystem that factors in water temperature, depth, time of day, and altitude. Just like fish in the real world, each species has its own preferences when it comes to bait and lures. But gear alone won't help you break any records. You're going to have to have your wits about you if you're going to bag a whopper. You'll want to pick the right place at the right time, day or night, to put that tackle to work. If you're looking for a little more guidance on how to best approach the different fish species, there are some great guides to be found on the information boards at the Central Outpost. Smallmouth bass, for example, like the shallower waters and respond well to a spinning rig equipped with a frog-like lure. Pike are voracious hunters and use vegetation to ambush their prey. You can find them in clear lakes and small to large rivers. The biggest fish, like the mighty lake trout, well, they tend to be in the deepest waters. Casting is an art in itself. A short cast can be achieved with a simple click. Casting further afield requires a little more skill. Float fishing is all about picking the right location and getting your gear set up just right. Pick your bait, set the float depth, cast, and wait for the payoff. Successful spinning is all about how you reel that lure in. You're gonna to want to experiment with different speeds and techniques, from stop and go to jigging and twitching. Don't forget to pay attention to both the depth of the water and how deep your lure is. When a fish is about to take the bait, you'll know about it. But a good strike is all about timing. Too early or too late and you miss out. Even with a live fish on your line, the game is far from over. To bring home more than tales of the one that got away, you're gonna need skill and patience. Managing the line tension is key, and techniques like pumping will help you tire out your catch so you can reel them in. Once you've cut your teeth on the small fry and upgraded your gear, it's time to head on out into the unknown to look for that next big catch. You better watch out though. There's some magic in these waters. And if you aren't careful, you might just be the one that gets hooked. Now, let's go fishing. Complete chills up the spine. Is that not some of the most epic music? I'm telling you, I need to get my butt back over to Sweden so that I can shake the hands of our music director. Wow.
Okay, we're looking, well, I don't know if I'll go with looking good. Let's get things rocking and rolling here. We're going to take a, a bit of a look here today, my friends. I hope everybody is as excited as I am to finally be able to bring this to you. Uh, the team is excited about it. We've had so much going on. If you didn't have a chance, we were at GamesCon last week. It was very exciting. Uh, it, you know, oh, I just can't say enough good things right now. But what are we doing today? Well, my friends, first off, we're going to get into the gameplay. We're going to take a look and we're going to discuss some of it, see what everybody thinks, get some opinions, let you know a little bit of our ideas uh, behind the gameplay and kind of where we're going. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm really pumped to be able to sit here with you all. We are live right now on YouTube, on Twitch, and on Facebook. Make sure you're following on all the platforms to keep all the stuff and things going. <laughs> Good morning. Hello, I'm seeing chat. You guys are going absolutely wild. Uh, if we haven't met before, my name is Jack C. Beard. I'm a community manager here at Expansive Worlds. I get to hang out with you folks today and start taking this journey together. If you've not had the chance this entire weekend, we have had some incredible creators out there showing it off, playing around, letting you get a really good look at the gameplay. Uh, we're getting lots of feedback. We're taking it all in. The, the You name it, we're hearing it and we're really pleased for it. Uh, we're going to get through some of this today and man, let's just get into this so i'm on my work account i've got a different way i want to do things here as we approach the angler from what we used to do in the hunter we're going to do a lot of this together so today i don't want to give off any spoilers uh i'm at a point on my personal game where i'm knocking missions out right now it takes you all through the world so we're going to take a look at some of the early stages so i don't ruin anything because for those of you that don't know this game is releasing on the 31st so it's not long before you're going to get your hands on it it's two days man two days oh goodness let's go all right so we're going to get into this now i am going to be using my gamepad my first playthroughs were on mouse and keyboard i was enjoying the mouse and keyboard I'm, I'm, I'm kind of that guy, it's what I use most times, but there's something about the gamepad with this game that really just, for me, it adds to it. I really have, uh, it's more immersive. I don't know if it's just the, the pullback on the sticks for, for the cast. I'm not as good on my gamepad as I am on my mouse keyboard anymore, but we're not here to see expert gameplay. You wanna see that, go and check out our community creators. Make sure you're in the Discord. Down the right hand side, you can see all of the partners, but all of our affiliates got it too. So go show a little bit of love. They've got it till release. They do, they've got it till release. I know I'm missing so much chat. I'm gonna try and keep up on it. You guys are flying. Let's get started. Listen to this music, man. There's so much love that's gone into this game and making sure that, that we had all of our beats right, that everything was lined up and ready to go. The devs are extremely active. In fact, they've been in there with all of our creators within the Discord, taking all their feedback and helping them and making sure they get started. This is technically the, uh, um, this is the, the I, I don't even know the, the correct name for it. It's a creator build that we have right now. Um, I would say that what you're seeing here is mostly what you're going to see at launch. Like anything, that's up to our devs if there's something that needs addressed. Uh, and yeah, let's take it out. Let's take a look. So Golden Ridge Reserve, this is the first reserve launching with the game. It comes with 12 fish species. And some of them are a little trickier than others. Uh, right down to finding them and so on and so forth. Uh, oh, is there really? I don't have the viewer list up. <laughs> you know. Uh, fishing games are always best on a controller, especially with rumble feedback. No gamepad's great on this, even though I play it on PC. Yeah, there's something about it, you know? And, and plus, being able to kick back, like I was playing the other night, I was relaxing, I had my computer chair back, uh, I had the lights off, all the sounds up, and it was really immersive. So if you haven't seen it, welcome, my friends, to Golden Reserve. Golden Ridge Reserve, it's pretty. It's immersive. There's a lot of areas, as you can see, a lot of what you expect from Call of the Wild has made it into the game. Um, I'll, I'll be honest and, and objective here. My concern is that the world, in, in, and I think this was the concern for everybody at the company, that how do you create an open world fishing experience? It's never been done before. Well, you have to make the world feel as if you're there, you're in it. It's not empty and devoid of life. And with the birds moving around, with the ambient noises, uh, as you're exploring it and you're moving through the map, speaking of which, let's uh, 
bounce through here. You're going to find and explore all sorts of new things. You can feel the love that went into it. Uh, on my end, I, I actually spent a bit of time just cruising around and kind of see some of the places. Um, it, the game does have, it's intuitive in the sense that uh, we've they've, they've given you a direction to follow if you so choose. If you don't want to just go out and hit every point of interest you can possibly find on your own, there are steps you can take through the missions, uh, which will come up in your journal. We haven't done any, we haven't got them on this one yet. We'll show you. We're going to get through that. And they'll walk you through and show you where to go, whether it's by foot, by Jeep, or by boat. That's up to you. And you can do it with friends, which is pretty cool. Now, before we go much further, uh, it has been talked a lot about over the weekend, and I've had a ton of questions about this um, in how the multiplayer works. And, and before we go further, I do want to explain, uh, because there's a couple things around this, and you're going to see this at launch. Uh, and I personally think, and I think you'll agree, that Direction they took is great. They are servers that you join. So when you join the server, you will see other players within your world. They cannot interact with what you are doing. You're fishing is your fishing and nobody can ruin that and i think that is one of the main focuses they had was how you would experience this moving forward someone can't come in in a boat and just do donuts to scare your fish away but you can <laughs> your own not not theirs because that would just be double-sided so let's take a look we're out here and we're going to get a few uh, little tutorial things to run through well let me tell you you've come to the right place although another right place to go would be taylor's tackles Right down at the no trees, levels. man. No trees. Can't miss it. <laughs> okay. So, in the beginning, yeah. as you would expect, it's going to walk you through. Um, okay, I'm, I'm on the pier. It's going to walk you through just to give you the basics. You don't need to be an IRL fisherman to enjoy the game. So, let's start off with a simple cast. Okay. Keep those shoulders and hips square for me. All right. Here we go. So multiplayer if they're fish in your area, uh, will that make fish less in the area? No, your game is your game. And uh, the way I've seen it, it they're, they're not going to affect you. So you go and you find your areas. Uh, but you can certainly fish alongside your buddies, which is pretty cool, right? As you can see, the cast theme, especially with the controller, it's nice and fluid. Back, forward, let her go. Uh, there is a pop cast as well, but we're not being walked through that at the moment. Hey, one more to go. Welcome to the Magus, Uni. There we are. Thank you very much. I know Bagels is out there right now. Guys, gals, if you haven't done so, please um, come join the Discord and uh, get get involved. Let's let's get to know each other and get to know our game together. You can find links in the command lines in all of our content, our channels. And of course, make sure you're following the socials. Catch a fish, catch a fish with your rod. We will do so right now. Here's the fun part. Now, we are in the beginning areas with the beginning rods. If you want to see the real big boys, like I'm talking, as you've seen, there are metals. There are metals that you need to get after. Uh, go and check out our creators. I've seen a lot of fun stuff happening over the weekend there. All right. So we're going to wait for this guy to come in and strike. Soul gas. Thank you, Torrid. <laughs> Oh, I missed. Oh, wow. Chat is flying on Twitch, and I missed that boost. Missed it. Rods feel a bit stiff. Are they going to level them up when you're reeling in? Well, you know, once everybody gets into the game and we get a feel on what everybody's experiencing and seeing, we'll have a better line. Uh, uh, eh? You can see, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, but more to the point that we'll be able to see, you know, how it's being received. Um, thus far from our creators, it's been great getting their feedback, their honest opinions. seems like everybody's having fun with it out there. Uh, you know, there's obviously things at the beginning of launch that we're going to want to address. And uh, that's where we, we look to our community. Like, what a time to have to sit and wait. <laughs> Now, there are multiple techniques that we're going to get to a little bit later and show you some of it. Some of the jigging, some of the twitching, the stop and go that you employ. And different fish will react differently. About, you need to find that correct gear. And your gear really matters in, in what you upgrade. If you get too big of a fish, too big, you're not getting it in. It's either going to take that line and go, or if it doesn't break the, the monofilament, it's, it's going to just... 
it's just not going to come in. If it's either going to break it or you're not going to be able to catch it if it's way too big. So you got to progress through the game. Hey, what's happening, Mr. Rue? How you doing, brother? Mr. TK's in the house. How are you, my friend? Fantastic to see you. Chris KSC, what's up, brother? Good to see you. One of our incredible creators right there. Pro XCK, hello. I know I'm missing so much chat. I'm trying not to. Ah, well, uh, double tap. We we feel we, we've wanted to keep it accessible for everybody. And this is one of the reasons we've kept the price down. Uh, we thought that it was at a good price point to be competitive for everything that it's bringing. Ooh, is that, oh, no. <laughs> it's just the light of the water. Uh, we might just give it one more cast because we're not seeming to have any luck. And sometimes you got to do that. You do. I spent some time over the weekend, and uh, actually it was on Friday. Uh, I just I couldn't get enough, you know? Spent a lot of time. Oh, jeez. Um, more time needed with my controller. <laughs> uh, learning some of the waterways. Like, for instance, getting into some spots where there's vegetation, you'll find different species compared to others. And, and what sort of lure you're using. I, you know, in the beginning, I was running around with my beginner rod and I was trying to just do everything with it. And I couldn't. I just couldn't. And it made sense. So we started progressing. We started getting things up. When you start seeing those fish jumping next to you and you've got the right line and you bring them in, it's pretty rewarding. The game is, uh, it, it's $29.99 US, so respectively where you are with exchange. The game as soon as I wish I could play now. I know I feel you, Bishop. It's coming, my friend. It's coming. Okay, I think is that a fish I'm seeing in there? Wait for it. Wait for it. Let's go, baby. This one's a pretty much oh, it's almost a straight reel. Now you can see down in the bottom right corner, uh, you're gonna find the, the basically all the information on your line, the distance. Uh, and it's it, honestly you're gonna need that at later points in the game when you're using the pumping action which we're gonna get into actually i'll wait to talk about that when we get into it but uh, you can see what we're using here right now what we've been started with we we have the beginner rod and reel and we're using an earthworm right now but we're gonna go and take a look more at some of the lures and bait here real quick Okay, so we're looking at the float indicator, the distance on the line between it and you. This is important in many aspects of the game. You can move this up and down, right? Depending where you're fishing and getting to know those waterways. We're going to hook another fish. Let's see. This is the tension indicator. This is going to be in our, our... Yes, there we go. Display so much tensions on your line relative to the max tension it can withstand. Letting that exceed is going to snap your line, and it happens. It can happen a lot if you're not prepared. I would like to see little things like opening the bail when you cast... And then it closing when you reel. And that's exactly the sort of feedback that we'll be looking for after launch here and see what people think. You know, we have to pick our, 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 our moments and what it is we're going to focus on and how we want to bring it to you guys. Uh, getting out the core mechanics and the base, the, the bones of the game is really our focus. Um, I look very intent with this juvenile. <laughs> I mean, you're calling it a largemouth bass, but it's not that large. We are at the beginner pond and it's what you can come to expect. Okay, here we go. So, here's where the here world Not starts to move up a little bit. Stop falling in the water, Beard. You'll start to find some of the, well, point of interest, I guess you could say. Little fires to hang around with your friends. Little fishing cabins all throughout the world. And much like you would expect, we're heading to a lookout tower. We're going to get a chance to open up the vista and take a peek around the reserve. You've seen the map. But now you're going to get a little bit of a peek on what you can expect as you explore Golden Ridge Reserve. Let's go. Up, up, and away. Golden Ridge Reserve. What's in the name, huh? Well, this one dates all the way back to the late 18th century. French trappers named... There's a familiar, na familiar name for you all. Or familiar, familiar voice. Need more coffee. Will there be salt water Hello. on point? I can see you. Can you see there are me? many directions in which we can go with this. Uh, and uh, I, those are points that, well, it's not up for me to decide. Uh, 
but I can tell you that we will be supporting this game uh, as our devs are quite passionate about it and seeing the talk and the chatter. Uh, let's just say I don't believe that you will be disappointed with the additions that come uh, with That's the game. Right here is my pride and joy. The Central Reserve. Are we getting a release time? So I don't have a confirmed time. We know it's on the 31st. Uh, we tend to try to shoot for around the same time. So that's typically about one in the morning for myself, a specific standard time. Uh, but there's there's nothing down pen and paper as to exactly what time it is coming out uh, that, that we're releasing at this point. Um, here we go. So we're going to head on over and meet one of the biggest personalities in this game. Can I interest you in a bargain? I think she's great. Some of her little quips, they, they caught me off guard. I was not expecting it. <laughs> so what I have PST, uh, that's what? That's three, four in the morning um, for uh, for Eastern. Just depending, right? But don't quote me on that because honestly, they, you, know, you know, there's there's so much that goes on with these releases. I've had my mind blown the amount of effort and how everything needs to line up for it to happen. Okay, so we're going to go into equipment. I wasn't paying attention to what she was saying, but I believe, because I've done this uh, before, we're going to pick up one of these. Now, you won't get far if you don't put your bait on your rod, so give it a go. We will put our bait on the rod. But while we're in here, I just wanted to show you real quickly what you can expect. Now, this is with release. You can see where this is going to go. We have all kinds of goodies just under the bait. We've got hooks. We've got lures, uh, spinning bait. The spinners are pretty fun, actually. We had a, I had a lot of luck with them. And of course, you can pick your different uh, weights of monofilament, different colors, whatever your preference may be, uh, all the way through right into soft plastics. Right, we've got lots of rods. You can see that you need the in-game currency to get this. We make the currency simply by leveling up and wait for it, because this is actually, this is one of my favorite things. And, and when you think about where this could go, Okay, ready? Ready? There's no max level. There is no max level. That is exciting. That is extremely exciting because what does that do? That means that you can continually progress and earn those bragging rights right from day one. You know, three, four, five years from now. I mean, what? Sky's the limit. Where are we going to end up? That's something I'm going to be keeping a close eye on within the community. I, I, you know, maybe we monitor who's, who's, you know, there's going to be a leapfrog action going on. You know, there's going to be a group of players vying for that top seat. I think it's very interesting. And with the prospect of what may come down the line, maybe you're going to be looking at tournaments. Maybe you'll be looking at leaderboards. These are all things that we will add based on interest and based on, honestly, our game designers. They are the legends, the absolute these these guys and gals are are so passionate and have put so much time into this and uh i i'm really excited to see what they do i really i really can't okay but enough of that let's get into the game here so we need to go ahead now and we need to uh equip all of our goodies so it's all done through here you can have multiple setups which is kind of handy i i was originally when i first got into this i was a little worried we were only going to have the one or two and you'd have to go through this is kind of like a loadout idea where you can set things but you could also change them on the fly so we're going to head down here and do just that and stick our little bit of bread on the line wait enter the shop and get the bait i equip the bait a few years ago, I was working in a business a million times the size of Taylor's tackles. This one's Taylor made for me, though. Uh -huh. Oh, because I did it through that one. Because I did it through the wrong menu. Okay, so I've I have beat the system. I got so used to doing this in game. I completely beat the system. I actually forgot about the, the so on control your, your left bumper option so you could go through and quickly change it. Well, you learn something every day and actually that's pretty handy. Let's <laughs> head down to the jetty. Oh my goodness. Kill Clinton. What's up, brother? Good to see you, my man. Welcome. Welcome. Can't wait to hit level 65,534. Get her done, son. Get her done. I, it is a, a very um, frequently asked question right now, and here's what I can tell you regarding consoles. 
so our team right now is is working hard the devs are on it that once this pc release on the 31st comes out they're going to be pushing to get the consoles out and hopefully in the not too distant future providing there's no hang-ups uh, it's within our best interest to have it out as soon as we can for consoles for you we'll give you more information as this develops and as we get closer um we're, you know we'll, we'll communicate it here through the streams and of course across our socials we want to get it in everybody's head as soon as we can did you see that did you see it man i love the jumping fish in this game it teases you you just right away start trying to cast out there thank you clinton good to see you too brother switch release so you don't want honestly freak frank i mean i can't say anything to that direction yet we haven't released anything on the switch for the hunter uh i don't know if there's plans on here to go to the switch i i i don't yeah i can't say for a certainty uh, would be pretty cool but i feel that it would have to be quite a different game just simply with the way switch works so as of right now no unfortunately uh, i do not believe there is but again not my place to say for a certainty uh, as I don't I don't have the keys to the kingdom so to speak all right we're gonna learn about drag now so this is a very important function in your game many lines have been snapped over the weekend seriously rip those many lines but if you play it right you will get a feel for it as you go uh, and and really you Jumping in and trying it is, is the best way to, to really get a feel for it. But we're going to do it right now. Let's go ahead with the higher drag, tension, etc. I'm, I'm not going to go through each and every bit of text because I don't particularly want to tie you guys all up. Have we got someone else? No, it's just that coming in. You never know when someone's going to run up beside you when your buddies just suddenly show up. It's pretty cool with the 12 bad multiplayer. All right, let's go ahead and get the rod out. And we're going to go all the way up to 50. And back down to 30. Some big fish here, Rod. There really are. There really are. Um, there's some really good spots around here. And I'm not going to give out any hot spots that I've found to be good as of yet. I want you guys to get this in your hands first. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. Hey, let's get her out there. Let's see what happens. I would say this is a Call of Wild fan. Give me the anger and I'll stream it or rate it. Appreciate you, my friend. Appreciate you. One second. I think we're good. Yes, that's right. Meg. Meg, you know? Yes, correct. Oh, oh, we're about to get action. Jackson. Let's go. Ooh. Ooh, we're going to drop our tension down a bit. There we go. As you can see, one adjustment can make a world of difference between getting the fish and snapping your line. You're going to be a juvenile, right? You're going to be another juvenile? Oh, it's a bronze! We got to do a bronze with this one. Now, you will see the, let's call it familiar tie-in with the metal system, but... Um, it's a different game with different ideas and that will present itself over time uh what you will find familiar is we have a score and we have experience that we get and it is extremely important because as your experience goes up you hit a level you get the goodies baby and that's going to get you into more gear uh better fishing better locations like i highly recommend don't just run around the entire map with the starter rod you, just don't do it I mean, you can. It's you play it how you want to play it. It's, it's not recommended. <laughs> Let's go ahead and pick that up. We're gonna catch a few fish here. Get a couple levels on them. We'll go back and look at the story. Now we are gonna get into pumping. This is something that I, I I've been using a lot, combining my the, the pumping and at times I'm, I'm you know you're you're twitching, you're you're jigging, you're it's, uh, all the different techniques. It gives you something that you kind of have to perfect a little. And the pumping is one of those that uh, now, if you don't use it right. You gotta snap your lines. Try not to let the fish get Let's get after it. All right. Now this starting jetty is fantastic. And I'm gonna show you some of what's around this beginning area. As we progress here, give you a chance to kind of explore it. We can see a fish actually in the water right now, moving about, and we've got some splash over to the side. Get ready and hit it, baby. Okay, just hit it on the right. 
button here, you'll see we actually tire them out. I'm going to hold it for a second. You can see what happens on the right-hand side. And as you let down, it's a good time to reel in. They start giving you more, more uh, action. You need to get back after them. This is how you can get some of the bigger fish without fear of snapping your line. You're tiring the fish down. It's a great base mechanic to get us fishing with, I tell you. You're a natural. Finally. It's been a pleasure, but Taylor's tackles needs me. Go check in with the warden, and don't forget to drop by. All right, Taylor. Thank you very much. I'm telling you, she's got so much personality. Didn't get a lot on that bronze. <laughs> can we expect rare monster fish so we can... Uh, uh, and Jeremy wait this game. Um, you can expect monster fish and that's about all i'm gonna say right now you know these things will evolve over time as well where that's gonna go well this isn't the place and time to talk about that right now but there are some pretty cool plans at work uh let's just give a couple more while we're here and that way we can get some questions and stuff going let's get this line out into the water and fight oh, and i gotta get good with my I'm, i am destined to get good with my gamepad I really am, because I just love being able to do this, kick back and think that. Needs to be a, an option to change feet and inches, you can. Yes, Quasipel, what's up, brother? Uh, you can, you can change it from metric to imperial. Yes. Give me the fish whiplash with that hard of a hook set. Well, <laughs> I'm doing what I can here. <laughs> Hello mods, I haven't had a chance to say hello to you all. Um, big shout out to all of our mods in the community, both on the Hunter and both in the Angler. Uh, it's been a very, very busy week end in the Angler, and I know our mods have been very busy to uh, to keep it, um, to, to try and help, help everybody along. We have some really, really passionate folks in there. Uh, so big round of applause. Thank you, everybody, and thank you for helping out at stream here. I greatly appreciate it. We couldn't do all this without you. Yes, it does, Mr. Poxter. Yes, so I, I actually meant to talk about that. Um, the rumble does work, which is pretty cool. It, it's a nice added effect. Albino monster gator gar. Oh, whiz bang, dude. That would be amazing. And I would say that uh, these are things you may expect to see down the line. Now, what's happening right now is something that um, I can appreciate. If you're getting into a fishing game, if you're fish after fish after fish after fish after fish, you are complete arcade. Now we're not going for straight realism. We want an authentic feeling experience, but we also want the user to feel accomplished and to have a reason to continue on. And let's face it, some of those reasons are some of the monsters and the fights that you can catch and hook up with. But we don't have fish after fish after fish after fish. It was my biggest concern. It, it, you know, for someone who's played every fishing game on the market, uh, I, I and and honestly, there's some great ones out there. Uh, I, I have to say that I was I was a little concerned on that. So, thankfully, uh, you know, as I mentioned earlier, your setups matter. Look at the jumps. Look, they're all over the place here. I should maybe walk out to the edge there, but maybe we can get them in with a little stop and go here. I mean, we're using a floats. We're not on a spinner. I know, I know. Can the straight guys animation be turned off? So. Um, Rehank, we, we've heard, we've heard you guys through the early access and we continue to listen, right? Those that deliver things well, <laughs> you know, because some people, they get a little too passionate in, in, in the wrong sort of way. Uh, but for the most part, you know, we've had some great feedback from everybody and yes, the devs are listening. The whole team is listening. Uh, it is something that we want to make sure that everybody enjoys it. Uh, this to my knowledge will be there at launch. It's a chance for everybody to get into the game. Uh, but uh, you never know something may happen um i, I yeah I, i've heard some folks talking about that it hasn't really bothered me but maybe that's just because i'm just starting you know maybe it's because i'm just starting the game what about fly fishing one of the most requested features absolutely one of the most requested features we see it time and time again that and and, and you know bottom fishing right doesn't matter if you catch 8k fish in five minutes are the fish fights realistic or not? Is the gear movement, rod lure, line realistic or not? Is the water realistic or not? I.e. is the fishing experience proper or not? Yeah, PJ, so you're not going to please everybody. You just, whoa, oh, baby, come on, come on now. Uh, we won't be able to pull him in if we hook him. 
Um, you're not going to be able to please everybody. We need to get the bones down and the foundation to work off. Uh, and, you know, like anything, we will grow from that. We're pretty happy with what we have here as, as a start. It's a very good starting point. I feel like the launch is, is going to go smooth. Um, there's some issues, with, like with any game that need to be worked out. But, uh, you know, this is a, a completely updated engine with a team that, I mean, God, are you in here right now? I think I've seen them um on uh you know working out issues for the like day and, oh i can't promote grind culture but we have some dedicated folks and watching the work they've been doing and getting them in with our they're in with our beta testers they're oh my goodness they're in with our our creators um i have a lot of faith i have a lot of faith what's going to happen here you know it's uh it's a good look where the fishing games are at the strike feels too arcadey hmm. Hmm. And see, and that's where I, I, I love to get this feedback because I, I hear both sides of it, right? As I guess you guys would expect. You know, there's a lot of people that are super excited for this. Here we go. And and a, a lot of people, not so much. And for various reasons on both sides of that fence. So please keep your feedback coming to us. Um, we'll provide, ooh, let's get a little pump on this here. We'll provide some uh, proper outlets to do so. Um, I would say that we'll probably have something here. Oh, this guy's got some weight on him. Let's get a little bit of tension on and see what we can do with this. We're up to 25 now. Ah, uh, sometimes. Oh, this is a fight. We're not going to get this guy. We're not going to get this guy. Oh, we might. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, no, he's getting line on me. He is, too. Oh. Oh, come on we're not gonna tire him out no he's going we're not gonna get this guy in oh we see this is where i think you know if you obviously bigger lines gonna help here but if you get good at it you can see every now and then i make some ground right i'm still rookie to the game i would say that a master angler someone who's got the time and the effort into this would actually be able to beat these really tough fights Right, look at him go, look at him go. All right, so we're not going to be able to get him in. So as you can see, if I had too much tension, we're going to go up to 35. Now, I'm not even touching the line. Look at the tension that's hitting as he's moving. If I start to put a reel on here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I, I almost don't dare to pump it, but we're going to try. Oh, you can hear it. You can hear it stressing. All right, we're going to purposely snap. I can cut. But if you go, oh, see, I missed it for a second there. I had an opportunity. There's no way I'm getting this guy in, as you can see. So we're going to go ahead and let him snap the line. For the love of Pete, let's move off the jetty. And we'll move out because you can see we saw them all jumping there too. Location is key in this game. And just because the tutorial starts here, don't let that. Oh, because I'm doing the tutorial. Fine, I got to go to the warden. Don't let the location, just because you start here with your tutorial, fool you. It's a good spot to come back to when you upgrade your gear. I won't say anymore. Is there a drag setting for the reel? There is, yes, Chewy Center. So I was making use of it there. Um, on controller, it's your D-pad left and right. And then up and down is going to change the, the depth of the line. Why is the reel still moving with the, with the drag? I couldn't tell you. Should be able to get any fishing. Hi, Jackson. I played Fish Plug before. Great game. Got me hooked. So if you don't mind me asking, what's the main difference, according to you, between the angler and fishing planet? What's the one thing that it has it will make one want to buy it. The open world fishing experience. We are trying to do something that has not been done on the market. It's ambitious. It is ambitious. Uh, but we have a very talented team. What we have tried to create here is a very solid foundation to the fishing, to exploring the open world, how you interact, how you move between places, and how you can actually get into these different bodies of water for different species of fish. Pulling that all together is our goal. And what you have here, well, as you can see, here's the map. And uh, you can go right in and get into all of these little lakes uh, and everything has something different to offer. Now, I'll show you here shortly as we unlock our first mission, the Golden Tour, what sort of 
areas you can find and maybe we'll go and take a look at one or two of those uh, there's everything in the game to keep you moving through that open world you might get tired of just fishing all the time and you want to progress your character there's collectibles and i'm not gonna go i i've found about half a dozen already myself i i, I don't have a number on how many there is out there but uh, you will find them when you're out looking around. So I'm going to leave that to you guys. Maybe one day we'll talk a little more about it. Uh, but that's something we haven't talked a whole lot about. God, you know, the world favorite response. It's my, it's my pleasure. We're, we're trying to be, uh, we're trying to just be as straight with everything as we possibly can. And, uh, and, and show you where, where our mindset's at and what we're trying to achieve here. And hopefully, you know, we've got your guys' support in what we're trying to do. All right, so let's go ahead. You guys for, that, that play on The Hunter will recognize this voice. You have an animated face to finally put into the voice. It's kind of cool. All right, so you're going to get a lot of missions from this, man. Here's your bread. Oxide daisies are the thorn in the side of sweet mother nature. Pale, mangy weeds. Can't miss them if you wanted to. Now for the butter. Engelman spruce beetle infestations. Horrible little creepy crawlies that'll rip a forest apart in a flash. <laughs> yeah, finally, it's true. Bread and butter ain't squat to a big sizzling hunk of meat. Personally, I reckon bones are useless without tasty flesh attached. <laughs> but them tourists love a crusty stegosaurus. So keep a lookout. Don't go out of your way, but if you're fishing and you spot one, let me know. So you got a little bit of an idea on what this opens up. Now, I'll give you just one example, and maybe we'll go find one while we're out there. Hey, we got Pantafell and American Ugly in here right now. Fantastic. As I mentioned, 12-player, 12 12-man 12 multiplayer. You'll bump into people in the world. Uh, right now, all of our creators have the early access. I've seen everyone out here from, from Co-Carnage to Bike Mad to, oh, you name it. It's just great seeing everybody out there enjoying it. We'll be able to fish with multiple rods um, at the moment with the introduction of the game. That's not something that is being offered. Uh, it's it's a little more hands-on right now. But that is something I would say that I th would like to say would be a very strong consideration. Hey, Pantafel, what's up, brother? If you're watching the stream, my man, uh, I, I tried checking you out a little bit over the weekend. This guy, is, he's absolutely great. I, I can't say enough good things about our creators, guys. You get an honest feedback from them if you want to go and see what they think. I know they've become a lot of the most trusted folks in the community, you know, so a lot of our hunter creators are out there right now making use of it. So let's go visit the water mill. Now, let me just show you a couple of things before we take off. And because we're going to jump in the Jeep for this one, I want to bring you down here and show you a little something as far as the transportation goes. Uh, what is this main question is can you turn the strike message off not currently at the moment you cannot we've heard your feedback on it though and as you know you've seen with our previous game we, we like to listen we like your feedback we're community driven right that's 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 I don't want to say it's a mission statement but I feel like it is so yeah keep that stuff coming you guys let us know as as we're out and about and in the discords and stuff like that a pedophile really is yeah he's a good dude man He's a good dude. I've had a chance to, to chat with a lot of our creators. All right, so here's what you're going to find around a lot of the reserve. Uh, and we're, I'm very limited on what I can show you right now, but it's uh, it's basic. It's boat rentals. You'll find this with the vehicles as well. Let's take a look. Currently, um, oh, because I don't have my other one in there. There is actually two skins that I have on my creator account. So it gives you an idea on where it will go with this, right? Uh, I, I, I really, I, I hope, I hope that we're going to just see a ton of different liveries for the boats and the Jeeps uh, for all of our gear. And I do believe that is the intention uh, because they're pretty nice looking models. They look pretty good. Some things to work out, obviously, I know, and I've heard it myself uh, with the water coming in. But, uh, you know, really, it's it's about getting things sorted here at this stage now we're not going to take off the boat but we'll just take off in the boat for a second we got a couple things we got to do back here uh it's got a good feel to drive in it you can get get all your buddies in here you can do a multiplayer cruise a multiplayer rip and then when you're ready to fish which i'll show you in just a second you have multiple spots you can stand on the boat now i found i had better luck depending on the direction in which I was fishing. I seemed and maybe, I, I can't confirm this is a feature, but I felt like my line was snapping as it hit the boat. So, when we were talking about our, our good old ward in there, you're gonna find missions throughout the world. Brown 
here, we like to do things the manual way. So if you could manually check the other stations right? while I manually sit here, that'd be swell. Now my point being is there's lots to do other than just fishing. I love the fact that they absolutely tried to populate uh, the world with, with little things that we can get onto. There's a ton of things like this. Um, so some nights, you know, when you just, you want to explore, I, I'm the guy, I like to go and complete all those things. So eh, it's kind of neat. I'm not gonna spoil any more for you. I just wanted to give you an example of what you can expect to find in the game. All right, let's put the pedal down. Now you got multiple locations at which you can drop the boat before we get out here. You got some pretty good wave physics. I will say, don't try and take these things up streams. You bottom out, you get stuck. I do, um, I do appreciate that. Let's see if it's still like that when I was playing earlier. You can actually uh, almost dock it like a real boat. You know, you know what I'm saying? I love it. But check it out. So, oh, can I not do it this close? Here, let's pull out just a second. All right. So, now, we have multiple spots we can stand. So if you got your buddies, you got a buddy here, you got buddies up over there. You can move around. You can all work off the same boat. It's pretty cool. I, I actually really like getting up right off the bow. I, I, something about it. I don't know. I, I watch... I watch fishing shows every single Sunday morning, and I, I'm always so jealous because I, 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 you know, I used to do a ton of fishing growing up, but we still get out. It's more a hobby these years, but we don't have any bass boats. I've never owned a bass boat, and I've always just wanted to stand on the damn bow of a bass boat and fish, and you have the opportunity, and I don't know. Maybe y'all would agree with me, but I really like that. <laughs> Did we lose engine sound? No, no. It was coming through quite, quite clear. Do I have it down too low? Should be able to hear that fine. Boy, I've seen the creators drive the boat. The water, they're just left over from the last one that rented. The water's just left over. <laughs> People getting a little bit wild. <laughs> I want to go over and check out the water mill, but I can never resist tossing my line in the bodies of water. As I've explored the map, as I've got all through here, I, I've checked out so many of the lakes. But this is a good opportunity to show you what I was talking about. If you want to keep a handle on things, maybe you've progressed and you want to go back. You can go to whichever one you want to have highlighted. So I can re-highlight to it while you can't. You've done it now. But if we have multiple missions up, and it does give you a full walk down of all the ones, or, or rather what your objectives are. Uh, it's a lot more intuitive. We have we have learned, as you've seen, um, in how we can you know sort of progress our, our menus and such so this is kind of nice that you have this and then when you want to get out there you can just start taking them off if you want to go for a cruise you can see you can kind of make it happen now this is uh all the way over here and i don't think we're gonna go all the way to ghost town it's the windmill it's asking for not the windmill water mill we'll go jump in a car we'll cruise over there let's just see if we get a nibble before we do um so calibre not at launch not at launch i would say that uh these are things that well you can see where it can go we are laying the framework for well I, all you have to do is, is to get an idea on how we like to populate things is look at the hunter now you know there's there's gear that's brought on the ready and things that are requested have been brought to the game so i could see that um you know the devs, like, they, they've been out enjoying their time fishing. They're getting paid to go fish. No, but, you know, we they really, they have a direction in which they want to move. And I can't say what the roadmap is as of yet. That's not for me to share. But please know that a lot of what I'm seeing asked for has been talked about, is being talked about, is a consideration. So it's, uh, you know, making a game. We're not a AAA studio. We can't just throw a whole bunch of money out and get it all out in one go. And then the game's complete. Leave it. No, we like to get involved with our community. And we like to work towards the end together. Uh, we like to, uh, to add stuff that's relevant that people actually want. Any other options of boat and full release? Ones that can go up streams? Well, if you're going to hit the ground, you can't really go up the stream. Oh, you little bugger. Look at that. He's teasing me. I think we may, I don't want to run out of time here. Um, I want to go show you the Jeep, jump in the Jeep and head off to the water mill. It's just so hard not to throw my line in the water. Man. 
<laughs> oh, God's God's sake. Yeah, everybody's got their own opinion. You're more than welcome to have yours, sir. Excited to try this game before saying anything. I appreciate that, Kevin. Yeah, you definitely want to get your hands on and give it a try. Let's hunts. What's good, man? How you doing, brother? I know I missed so much chat, and I apologize. I tried to catch. Um, I try to catch all the questions. I like to catch all the ones in the edge of questions. I try to. Since the map is 24 square kilometers, can we expect more fish to come in the first reserve? Well, ah, uh, see, these are questions. So let me say this. There's there's certain things that, you know, you have to remember we're focused on release. And we don't want to give too much info out yet on what's coming down the line. Um, what I can tell you is we will expand with more reserves. There will be more species. That's the sort of thing that we hope to make happen. Uh, but I, as any details, I, I, I can't give you any at this point in time. I hear somebody out for a rip. Okay, we're going we go, to have to cut here. I only got 10 minutes. I want to go jump into the the jeep and get over to show you some of this world I, my pleasure pj thank you dude i appreciate that yeah it's 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 important that you know i always play with keyboard and mouse right and i really wanted to show that this game is super enjoyable with the gamepad uh in fact i'm starting to prefer it uh, the only thing for me is set the controller down to type and then if i've set it down to type and I get a strike, you know, I got to be quick to hit the key instead of coming back to the controller. All right. All right. I don't have time right now. We will have time to do just straight fishing streams in the future. Uh, I can't wait. I just really can't. Who's fishing over here? I know I heard somebody. Okay, let's get this thing docked. Very nice. All right. Bring her on in, baby. Let's head over to the Jeep. To the fishmobile. A varying outdoors, yes. When we get the game out to consoles, you can expect full crossplay, my friends. That is something that uh, the team has been very passionate about bringing. And I'm excited for it. You will get to play with your friends on PC if you are on Xbox, with your friends from PlayStation to Xbox, and of course, PC through both. It's it's pretty exciting. All right, much as you would expect. Oh, okay, I'll give you the teaser. Some of you may have seen this, some of the creator streams. You can often hear it before you see it. You might be moving somewhere completely random in the world and you'll hear this noise. Check it out. There's all kinds of little collectibles. Now, we're going to go ahead and spawn this. We're going to take a look at it. Um, again, I, mean, I should have used my creator one so you could have seen one of the other skins just to show there's going to be variations. Um, it's such a great, great base to build off, though. And uh, it sounds pretty good. Okay, so before we head off in the boat, because we won't be coming back here before I end a stream, this is what I wanted to show you. Challenges are a big part of this game if you want it to be. You don't need it to be, but if you want to take part in just going out beyond just fishing and hitting and finding some of the best spots on the map, you can take part in the various challenges. I'm not going to grab any right now to ruin them for you, but you can find them all on the board here. Some of them are just straightforward fishing challenges. Some of them are, well, this one's kind of cool, actually. Photography mode. Uh, and uh, yeah, you, you kind of get the idea on what's going on. Get to this location, get to that location. Just lots of ways to play. All right, let's, uh, once again, it's rental. I can't help it. I was going to look for dings and scratches. You get nailed with these things. Looks like we got one of the newer models. Now, you can ride in this in multiplayer with you and uh, three of your favorite anglers. And, uh, well, dare I say, you know where this is going to go. Because <laughs> there's going to be races. Let's head off. Let me just uh, get the volume down a little so you guys can hear me talk. Are the challenges random and regenerate or are they limited to a certain number? Um, so there will be a set number set in game as we start. Uh, I would think that you'll see more as more content comes in and maybe there's options. 
to add it beyond that. Remember, we're at the very, very early stages and a lot of it's gonna come down to what the community wants. We'll take your feedback, we will listen and see where to go. Uh, the team made sure that at launch, there's gonna be plenty to do and to keep you busy. Oh, I believe I'm going left here. I should have looked at my map before I zigged and I zagged. Let's see. We're gonna go this way. So we're gonna uh, just stay straight until we make a left. Yeah, that's clear as mud. I'm on it. Oh, Far Cry 5 vibes. Dice. Oh my god, that's all I did in that game. I hunted and I fished. I love jumping onto the uh, little float planes that Hetty did, you know what I'm saying? We're going to probably into a treat now. We're not hitting any trees. <laughs> We're going to try not to hit any trees. It happens, especially while driving and you're trying to read chat. My friends, we will get some regular streams going for you where every week you can come and join us and, uh, you know, ask your questions. And, 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 and if I, I will try and answer everything I possibly can. And if I don't know it, I will find out. Let's see here. Um, I wanted to make sure. No, nope, one more to go. Um, you know, we, we, we speak, myself uh, being the community manager and having a direct line to the devs, I like to try and bring everything I can to their attention uh, that matters within the community. When the community has a hot topic, they need to hear. Okay, it wasn't a tree, all right? I was almost focusing too. <laughs> uh, so it's it, it'll be great to have you all with us. We can actually focus on just some straight fishing streams. This ain't the same kind of corpulent blood guzzler you use for bait, though. This parasite slurps away at the very ground we stand on. Unlike its just as evil twin, the sawmill, this piece of work is allowed to keep working, which makes its work that much worse. You're freaking me out right now, Clayton. I just hope this thing <laughs> stops spinning before the world does. If I'm just glad to finally get a face for this man. All the better. Karina, what's going down? Good to see you. We need guns for the angler. I mean, I'm not going to lie, I'd be pretty happy if I was fishing and had a rifle on my back. And hey, look at the white tail over there. <laughs> but as you've seen, um, you know, we had so many requests to bring fishing to the hunter call of the wild. Uh, and honestly, from the passion from the community is what has brought us to this point. Uh, it, it became obvious early that, hey, this is a big undertaking. This is a big task. We, we need some some quality individuals to head this up and uh, enter our dev team and 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 all the support surrounding that dev team uh ex, you know i'm i'm a part of that these days and I, I can't begin to tell you how much there is involved and so that's why the decision was made to bring you call of the wild the angler we now have an umbrella call of the wild being the brand we've got the angler we've got the hunter so it's it's really neat to see it branch out and just to be clear two separate dev teams on both projects um, very passionate individuals and i think you're going to see that over time here uh you know let's go ahead and jump out of the car we could have just ended up with a copy and paste of something like Leighton lakes and just ran around fishing it but this team wanted to create a world for everybody to explore, to find little things throughout the world, little hidden gems, little honey holes to go fish at. Where's the best spot? What's the best lure? Try to create an experience. And I think as of the 31st, uh, a lot of you will see the bones that have been laid in place and where we can go from here. Uh, I've really, really, genuinely enjoyed my my time. I, I I had a chance to stream it just recently, and it flew by. Um, hanging out uh, like we are right now, set on the end of the boat, has a, such a different vibe. It's just fantastic. I hope that everybody um, has had a chance to see everything, and that this stream has helped look a little closer at some of the things you can expect to find in Call of the Wild, the Angler. Um, we will continue to try and match all our beats to be able to line everything up for you guys. Uh, you know, we had GamesCon last week, and then we gave it to the creator so you can get a real deep look at it by watching your, your, your favorite friends live on screen. Um, lining up today here to be able to hang out with you all and to be able to answer your questions. And I'm trying so hard to make sure that I'm, I'm catching those hard questions that I'm sure that I have missed an absolute ton. 
Um, I'll be around in the Discord. Uh, I'm always around in the Discord. I'm around in our Reddit channel. Come and check us out. Uh, I, you know, I like watching all of our socials and having a chance to to hear from you all. Um, 31st, this is landing on PC. It's uh, a very exciting time for the team. We have a lot planned for the game and we'll be sharing that and releasing it as we can go. Something I will say that I want to try and get lined up. I don't have a date and I'm just starting the framework for it to happen, but I would like to see if we can, um, well, I'm just going to throw it out there because I know they've expressed interest and, and if it lines up with everything we're doing, I'd love to get some of the devs out so you guys can hear a little bit more in depth detail on what's gone into making this game and uh, maybe some of the challenges that they've had to overcome and, and what's brought us to here. More to the point, I want you to meet the folks behind the game. Now, I don't want to sound like a broken record, right? I keep saying passionate, but man, it's freaking true and you're going to see it. So make sure to hang around. Give us a follow on all the socials. Come join the Discord group. Thank you all for coming out here today. Don't forget, we've got the Hunter up tomorrow. I'll catch you all there. 31st is rolling on us real fast. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. And uh, I can't wait to see what you all think. Catch you all very soon. We'll see you in the Discords. And off we go, baby.